Hey everyone, it's Yoslin and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a necklace inspired by Kiara's pink necklace that she wears in Outer Banks. I'll put a photo right here of it. And I said I was going to do this video like two videos ago because I'm pretty sure two videos ago I uploaded Kiara's black and white necklace. But in this video, I'm going to be doing the pink necklace that she has. I'm using Pony Beads by Little Makers, and they're only $3.47 for all of these colors. So I separated mine. I have pink, red, yellow, and green, and also white and black. But the majority of this necklace is the color pink, so I had to choose more pink than all the other colors. Basically, you're just going to need the beads, a clasp to open and close the necklace, and some clear like elastic string for the necklace. I have all of my beads now, and I'm just going to be measuring this around my neck to see how big I want my necklace to be. So I'm gonna do a little bit extra just so I can tie the clasps on my necklace. So I'm gonna do it about to here. And I'll measure it so you guys know how big the string is. So I cut my string about 20 to 21 inches, and now I'm going to be tying the clasp onto the end of it. And I'm gonna be doing the smaller side and tying a knot at the end. And I'm going to be triple knotting this just to make sure that this is on the necklace and it won't fall off. Okay, so I tied a knot on it three times and now I'm just going to be cutting the excess off with my mini scissors. And I'm just going to cut this. And now I can start putting the beads on my necklace. I'm going to flip the camera so you guys can see what beads I'm using each time. That way it can be easier instead of you guys just hearing my voice and saying the color of the bead. This way you can see the bead and hear the color that I'm saying. So I flipped the camera and I'm going to start off by doing one red bead. And following the red bead, I'm going to be doing one pink bead. Now I'm going to be doing another pink bead and a yellow bead. Two more pink beads. And one green bead. Two pink one black bead, three pink beads, three, one red bead, followed by two pink beads, one white bead, four pink beads. Now the pattern's gonna start changing, so I'm gonna be doing one yellow bead, one green bead, one black bead, one white bead, and one red bead. If you didn't catch that, then you can just watch me pin the beads on and see what colors I do. One yellow, one green, one black, one white, and one red. Now I'm going to be doing four yellow beads. I'm dropping all the beads by accident. The same thing happened in my last video. I don't know why I just kept dropping them. Now I'm going to be doing one pink bead and four green beads. Now I'm going to be doing one pink bead and three black beads. One pink bead and four white beads. Now three red beads three pink, two yellow, one pink and two green, one pink and four black beads, two white beads, one red bead, two pink. Also, sorry if you guys hear any background noise. One yellow and two pinks, one green. Also, you guys can use any beads you want. It doesn't have to be these ones. You guys can use beads that you think might look more similar or just colored beads that you have. Two pink, one black bead, two white beads, three pink beads. One, two, three. One white bead, three pink beads, one red bead, one pink bead, and one white bead. Oh, you guys can't see anymore. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Two red beads, four pink beads, Two red beads, six pink beads. Also keep measuring the necklace around your neck just to make sure that you don't accidentally make it too big. One red bead, three pink beads, now I'm just gonna be ending it with one of each color. So I'm gonna do one white bead, one black bead, one red bead, one green and one yellow bead. And those are the last colors of my necklace. Now that I'm done adding on the beads, I'm going to be ending it off with a double knot. 
actually I'm gonna do a triple knot just to be sure So I did three knots and now I'm going to be adding on my little clasp. I better put my clasp on and now I'm going to be tying a knot. So I'm just going to do a regular knot. It's not anything special. So I tied it three times and now I'm just going to be cutting off the excess. I'm editing the video and I realized that I forgot to tell you guys where I got my supplies at. So I got the beads. I'm pretty sure I said this part though, but I got the beads at Joanne's Craft Store and they were $37. No, they were not 37 cents. They were $3.47. And I got the elastic and the clasp at Joanne's Craft Store too. But I'm not sure how much they were since I got them a long time ago. But I'm pretty sure that they still sell them. Overall, I just got all my supplies at Joanne's Craft Store. And I'm sorry that I forgot to mention that in the video. I my shirt so you guys can see the necklace better. And here's the necklace. It just looks like this. It has a lot of colors as you guys can see. And I'm going to be putting this on so you guys can see what it looks like the necklace on and it just has a whole bunch of color on this side it's more pink and on this side it's more of the other colors that i had also if you want to know how to make her white and black necklace she wears i made a video on that so if you guys want to know how to make this you can go check that video out but yeah i've made these two necklaces and they look pretty similar obviously the pink isn't the exact same shade this pink is a little bit lighter but if you guys have these beads they work just the same or if you have other beads that are like a different color you can use those as well but this is her necklace. A lot of you guys love my Outer Banks videos, and I really like making them too, just because I like making necklaces and bracelets in general. That's why I decided to make this one, since you guys love my Outer Banks videos. That is it for today's video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!